um, visual art tips, you want to submit fully resolved pieces. What is a fully resolved piece? It, okay, can may I? Sure. Yeah, you seem very confident, young woman. It, it's really bad right now. Is this a fully resolved piece? No. No, why is it not a fully resolved piece? It's not complete. It's not finished. It's not finished. It's not finished. It's not finished. Um, if you're doing something that is a portrait or a charcoal sketch, illustration like this, a lot of times students will tend to have a lot of detail in the face and then have nothing here. Is that a fully resolved piece? No. Okay, what is what is really important to a fully resolved piece? Oh, Three things. It looks completed. It looks completed, but we're looking for foreground, middle ground, and background. Foreground, middle ground, and background. You want to see a fully resolved piece. Um, things to consider. Here's your little cheat sheet. These are all the things that they will be looking at and scoring you on. They give you a numeric score. So it's not like people go, oh, I like this. I'm going to give them 10 points. They'll look at the piece, they can love it, and they say really critically, I can see they did a great job. They, this, the, the composition in this piece is really strong. Um, the technique is really strong. Their conceptual awareness, um, which is the ability to convey a clear idea that, that we really know what your point of view is. I'm not really understanding what their point of view is, so their conceptual awareness may not get as high a score as the other parts. So you want to go through here and look at each one of these, and when you're looking at a piece and determining whether or not you're going to put that into your portfolio, you need to make sure that you could speak, or whoever's critiquing, you could speak to each of these elements, or as many as possible, within your piece of artwork. Okay? Talks about the submission requirements here. Um, presentation does count. It's very, very visual. So if you're doing a storyboard, you want to make sure that um, it's when you take a picture of it, it's matted correctly. When you upload it, it's in a, a PDF. You want to make sure your presentation is very, very strong. The images are cropped, uh, looking professional. Um, it should be evenly spaced with your with your strongest work. So you don't want to start off your portfolio with your strongest piece. You might want to put that somewhere in the middle. But your weakest piece needs to be strong. Um, or is anyone considering performing arts? I think that was just Belle. And she's considering being...